Hi, I'm Tom with Black and Stone. I'd like to introduce you to our gas safety gauge that we sell. Um, gas safety gauge uh, is a device that goes in between your propane tank and the hose and regulator that you have attached to your propane device. Um, if you've got a gas fuel barbecue uh, or a propane fire pit uh, or a patio heater, uh, you have a propane tank, you'll have a hose and regulator currently attached. Our gas safety gauge goes in between. Uh, this, will, this end will connect to your propane tank and then the hose and regulator you currently have will undo from that propane tank and then hook on to our gas safety gauge. In the case that you need a new hose and regulator or you don't have a hose and regulator at all, you can purchase our gas safety gauge already attached to a hose and regulator. It's a two-foot hose and a 100,000 BTU max um, regulator. So either way, whichever one works, works best for you. The gas safety gauge performs three functions. The two of them are safety related and one is for the convenience of knowing how much fuel you have left in your tank. The two safety issues that it will address for you are one is it does a leak test on your system especially at the beginning of the season you haven't used your device for quite a while uh, you make sure everything's turned off um, uh, the knobs on your barbecue or the outlet knob for your propane heater just make sure everything's turned off and then open up your propane tank the needle on the gauge that you see here should um, shoot up into the green area if there's plenty of fuel in the tank and it should stay there. If it doesn't stay there, if it starts to drop down slowly, it means there's a leak in your system and you're going to have to find that leak and, and, and fix it. The other very important safety function it performs is in the case of a breach of the system. Now, this is not an occurrence that happens often, but when it does it can be very disastrous. In the case of a breach of, its, of the system, the gas safety gauge will shut off 100% of the flow of the gas. Um, this is important because other devices on the market and also the uh, device that's inside your propane tank, uh, if you have an OPD fitted tank, which almost all of them are, uh, those are just flow limiters. So if there's a breach, they do limit the flow and that, while that's helpful, it does not um, create a completely safe situation. The gas safety gauge, on the other hand, will shut off 100% of the flow of gas so that there's no chance of a continued fire. Uh, we have a, another video available on this site um, called the gas safety gauge safety uh, promotion, um, and it shows the difference between uh, a breached system with the gas safety gauge and with just a flow limiter. And you'll see that with just the flow limiter you can still have quite a flame going. So it's a very important safety function that, that this performs. One of the functions that the uh, gas safety gauge does for you that's most popular with our customers is the gauge on top. It's a luminescent dial, glows in the dark, tells you about how much propane you have left in your tank. If you have a full tank and you crank open the, the top of your propane tank with the gas safety gauge on, the needle you see will jump up into the green, let you know you have plenty of fuel. If you turn on the gas uh, on your propane tank and it's, it's quite low, then the needle will only sh show uh, into the yellow section possibly down into the red section um, and that lets you know you're almost out, out of propane and, and should probably refill the tank. Uh, it's impossible to tell you exactly how much time you have left because different propane devices use different amounts of uh, fuel um, per, per hour. So I know with mine, um, with my gas barbecue, I know that uh, when it when the needle just goes up into the yellow, I've got maybe two or three barbecues left 
I tend to have my barbecue on for about 30 minutes when I'm cooking. And so I know I've got about three left when I see it's just down into the yellow. But you'll have to determine that with, with your own, with your own uh, uh, propane device. The uh, flow um, is stopped by the gas safety gauge. I told you in the case of a breach. And if that does happen and you need to reset your gas safety gauge, it's very easy to do. You just push down on the, uh, the gauge on top, and that will reset it and allow the flow to go again. Um, if you attach the gas safety gauge for the first time, or at some point you uh, turn on the gas on your tank and you know you have a full tank, and yet the needle doesn't come up in your gas safety gauge, it usually just means it needs to be reset. Uh, simply turn everything off again, reset it by pressing down on, on the gauge on top, and, and then turn it on, and this time then the needle will uh, go up where, where it should. Um, so it's very easy to do, and it allows you, if you ever do have a breach, if for some reason that's the gas safety gauge is, is, um, is enacted and stops the flow, you can hook a... Um, it back up to a good hose and regulator and, and reset it and, and be good to go again. So that's our gas safety gauge. Uh, again, it comes in two models. Uh, one that uh, is just the gauge and one that has a two-foot hose uh, and a 100,000 BTU regulator attached. Um, we uh, are very proud of the product and know that we have a lot of happy customers out there. If you have any further questions uh, regarding the gas safety gauge, please email them to info at blackandstone.com and we appreciate your interest in, in our products. Thank you very much.